I played catch yesterday before the game and just felt a little sore. So put him on the IL. Um, he's going to get further tests done, and we're hoping you know for the best. But uh, he felt it playing catch yesterday. He was he was a little sore after uh, he pitched the day before, um, but it was kind of after he pitched soreness, and then yesterday playing catch, it felt something not right with the elbow. So put him on the IL, and hopefully we're hoping for the best there. I mean, how big a loss is that for the season? Well, he's been crucial for our bullpen, and yeah, he's been one of the best <laughs> relievers in the game, really. Um, so, you know, he fills in all different kinds of spots for us, and um, you know, hopefully we can ride the ship until he's back. And um, But he's been, he's had a heck of a year so far. Brandon, you, you've worked, I mean, you, we watch it, you work really hard to c- try to control the innings, the ups, all the stuff you have to do. How much of a toll does it take on you? I don't want to say emotionally, but how much of a toll does it take when you, you at these junctures, you find out there are things you just can't control? Uh, I take it hard, <laughs> honestly. Um, uh, you know, injuries are a part of the game, and, you know, there's a lot of pitching injuries happening right now and around the league, and, you know, you're trying to keep it scares you, so you try to keep your guys as healthy as possible, knowing that things like this are are going to happen. Um, but you know, you want to you want to stay as healthy as you possibly can. We've done an amazing job of that for the last couple of years, and for me, that's the reason, for, the big reason for our success last year. And um, you know, I'm trying to do that again this year. Um, but these things do happen, and so um, it's a little bit out of your control. Um, but you, know, you just try to have a next guy up mentality and hope that you know guys like Danny can come back as quick as possible. Who, who might bump up into uh, late innings that we, might, that we haven't seen them before? Uh, well, we're car- you know with a seven-man pen, you know you you on most nights I don't have seven available, right? So um, you know with the with the, you know, usually, you know, on on average, probably there's two guys down with one or two guys you're trying to stay away from, which leaves you three or four. So you, um, you try to mix and match with those three or four the best the best you possibly can. With Craig being at the end of the game and Cano usually being in a right-handed pocket, um, and whether it's the seventh or eighth inning, and then Danny was kind of a little bit of a seventh, eighth inning guy, sometimes sixth, depending on where they were in the lineup. Um, so I think, you know, anybody, honestly, Webby's been doing everything. CNL has been doing a little bit of everything. So, um, you know, those guys will just be pitching in, in the spots that Danny was. What did you think of Norby after his first stint up with me? Yeah. Uh, I thought he did a great job. Um, what a, you know, that was a cool experience for him. And, uh, I think he's going to be a lot better for it. And you can't get a taste of the big leagues like that, you know, too, too tough road, uh, you know, on, on that road trip, two tough places to play, and we he saw us play winning baseball for six of the eight games and one run losses the other two. Um, I thought he swung the bat well. I thought he fit in outstanding, and um, I thought it was an unbelievable experience for him. And and uh, you know, you never know when you're, you might see him back soon. Who knows? Brian Baker back up with the club. Where does he fit in? And you know, he's familiar with this group. Yeah, Bake's someone we're very, very familiar with and um, pitching really well right now in Norfolk. So we're we're excited to have him back, and uh, he's going to fit right into the bullpen. So when his name's called, I know he's going to give me everything he's got.